Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. So last week we were supposed to have a hero. She is here this week. It is the Mistress of the Hunt, created by Jacob Busby. Her backstory was pretty interesting, so I wanted to make sure I read it off. The Mistress was originally Bridget Pettigrew, a kennel's maid who, against the counsel of her lord, took in a wounded hunting hound, giving up her meals in order to feed it and nurse it back to health. She was not to know at the time, but the hound belonged to Hearn the Hunter, which, if you're from England, I guess, this might be a well-known figure of folklore. If you're not... I think you'll learn a little bit about him. His name will come up a bunch. Seeing her potential, Hearn bestowed her with several gifts and charged her to seek out lost dogs and gather them into a pack. Well, okay, it doesn't say anything more about him. His thing is that he is like a ghostly huntsman, what hunts people in the woods and stuff. It's kind of neat. Go look it up on Wikipedia. After an encounter with a particularly vicious werewolf, almost cost her more than her life, she joined forces with the other heroes of the age. Aladdin, George of Mormoth, a mysterious sylph, and a runic skull from the frozen mirth. Together they form the world's first superhero team. Many of their exploits have been lost to history or have degenerated into simplified myths and legends in which mighty heroes stood steadfast against trolls, gin skeletons, dragons, and vampires. Oh wait, those are all the Once Upon a Time variants. So it's Malachi, the Knight, Lady of the Wood, and I think the Stranger is the last one. The mistress's last recorded journeying to the ruined temple of Kronos in Greece, having heard that Odysseus' dog Argos was seen in the vicinity. Meanwhile, in modern-day Megalopolis, Pars has detected a stream of chroniton particles emanating from near the central dog pound. While your English have never heard of the hunter, well, there you go. But yes, this is our star of the day, and she's got a bunch of dogs that she's going to bring to bear against Abomination Spite. I'm sure that'll be delightful. Alongside Echelon, the Raven, and Reporter Alpha, slightly fitting and they'll be fighting in Boros Legion. So, Abomination Spite removes safe house and all copies of 4th Century from the game, then he gets two ongoing and or drug cards and a victim, puts them into play, shuffle the reveal cards from the deck, select three collections, and flip them. Villain drugs gain the keyword ongoing, are not indestructible, and can enter the villain trash. When a villain ongoing card is destroyed, move it to the bottom of the villain deck, destroy a hero ongoing card, and Spite regains 3 HP. So, drugs are no longer the horrendous thing that they used to be, you can get rid of them for a price. When a victim is destroyed, put it under this card and spite deals the hero target with highest HP, 3 melee damage. Start of the villain turn, destroy a victim. If no card was destroyed this way, reveal cards from the villain deck until the victim is revealed. Put into play, shuffle the other revealed cards into the deck. End of the villain turn, he deals the three hero targets with the highest HP, X psychic damage each, where X is one, plus a number of cards under this card. So right now, he's going to destroy this instant bystander and eat it. He would heal four off of the card itself if he wasn't already at full. And that's it, here we go. Lab raid, so he gets one more drug. Oh darn, it's Compound Upsilon. So end of turn he hits the three highest for two, increased to three, that's everybody but Mistress of the Hunt. And then he hits everybody for two Infernal damage, and that's it. He will be punishing us for using powers, and start of his turn, he's going to make us put stuff back in hand unless we can get rid of that. I think we're going to start off with Echelon using right time and place. One hero will search the deck for a one shot, we'll have Raven go and grab her ongoing destruction card, quote the Raven. Another searches their deck for an ongoing card, that'll be the Mistress of the Hunt. And what do I want her to get? Preternatural Senses. You put those cards in their hand, shove their decks, each hero target gains a hit point, and remove this card from the game. Cool, so we've got a slight leg up. If we don't play ongoing cards, we can get rid of these for basically free. He doesn't destroy hero equipment cards, so Tesla Knuckles, and he's not reducing damage dealt to himself, but taking three damage for dealing one is not worth it. Skipper power, draw a card. And I think Raven's just going to go ahead and use the prototype Resonator Coil, deal a target 10 irreducible damage, discard the top three cards of a non-hero deck. We'll just discard the top three cards of his deck, why not? On the Prowl, collateral damage, and another Lab Raid that was actually worth it. Amazing. Quoth the Raven. She deals a target 2 melee damage, destroy an ongoing card, how about the one that punishes us for using powers? So that goes on the bottom of the villain deck, and he heals 3. Could be worse. I can put an equipment card for my trash into play, don't have any, I can play a card. Gee, all I've got are tactics. I guess we'll go to Roost. Draw two cards. We have to use her base power. Didn't get any tactics. Draw a card. Oh wait, I can actually play one. Never mind. Okay, so she'll go into the shadows, prevent the next damage dealt to her. And when I can put up two equipment cards for my trash into play. I did get some. A boomerang and a flashbang grenade. All right, Alpha's going to start off with Badge of the Bloody to deal a target 2 million damage. And then she is just going to draw a card and draw a card. Okay, Mistress of the Hunt. 
All right, so Mistress of the Hunt will start off with Hearn's Whip. At the end of your turn, you may choose a hound and activate its dog text. The power, which we're going to use, the Mistress of the Hunt deals a villain character zero melee damage. From now until the start of your turn, whenever that villain plays a card, the Mistress of the Hunt may deal them one melee damage. So we're going to hit Spite for nothing and punish him for playing cards. That's it. Draw a card. Don't have any hounds in play, so can't activate them. Boros Legion plays a Fire Main Angel. Reduce non-infernal damage dealt to this card by one. In the environment turn, each soldier gains a hit point, and this card deals each non-soldier target one radiant damage. Okay. Alpha hits it back for one. Raven soaks it. Alright, start of turn, there are no victims, so he gets a new one, and it's a good Samaritan. Cool. And then he plays on the Prowl. So, Mistress of the Hunt hits him for one. This destroys a victim. It goes under him. He heals four, and then he heals three. I'm sorry, no, he doesn't heal three. He hits the highest for three. He should have done that last time, so Alpha should have three fewer hit points. She hits him back for two. And then he gets another victim. It's an innocent bystander. The end of turn, it's everybody for two, three, four. Well, not everybody. It's everybody but Alpha. And then he hits everybody for two. Oh, that includes the Fire Main Angel, who takes the full two because it's infernal. And that's it. So somebody can discard two cards to save that victim. Somebody other than Echelon can do that. Okay, do I have any ongoing destruction is the question. I don't think so. All right, let's break through. Oh, wait, and I forgot to put things back in hand into the shadows and actually, I guess, the Tesla Knuckles. Okay, so yeah, break through. Let's just use her base power. Hit Spite for three and draw a card. I hate playing this card outside of digital, but crime scene reconstruction. Oh, wait, I also want to discard two cards with her to save the bystander. Damn it, it doesn't say... <sighs> I thought I fixed that. Okay, well, when you save a victim, somebody is supposed to either draw a card or heal one. Raven's going to draw a card. I can move a card from a trash to the top of its deck. Actually, yeah, let's get back with the Raven on top of her deck, which means I don't want to use her base power. So, Flashbang Grenade. Hit Spite for two. Counter his buff. Draw a card. Alpha will go for an aspect attack of the Dire Wolf. And, of course, she gets Insatiable Hunger, the worst one. She deals a target two melee damage. Guess who? Power. Let's draw a card. And put that on the bottom of her deck, and reveal the top two cards of Spite's deck, and replace them in any order. Well, it doesn't matter. Draw a card. Alright, Mistress of the Hunt will dogpile. Put any number of hound cards from your hand into play. I've got one. It's Carbuncle. When you play this card, activate its dog text. At the start of your turn, you may activate this card's dog text. If you do, shuffle this card back into your deck and draw a card. Which should be in the opposite order, but whatever. All the dogs work that way. He lets me draw a card. Which is not amazing, but actually pretty useful for her. The Mistress of the Hunt deals a target X plus one melee damage, where X is the number of hounds in place. So it'll be two damage to Spite. Her base power, by the way, is Forage. You may discard up to three cards from your hand. Draw cards equal to the number of cards discarded this way. She has a lot of one-off cards, so it's actually not as bad a power as it sounds. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Whip again on Spite. Draw a card. And activate Carbuncle's Dog Text and draw a card. The environment plays Tajik, a soldier. Environment targets other than this card are immune to damage other than melee and projectile damage. Ah. And the environment turn this card deals a non-soldier target with second highest HP to melee damage. Okay, so first of all, each soldier regains a hit point, and then this card deals each non-soldier target one radiant damage. Alpha hits back for one melee. I forgot to increase those damages by two. Two damage from Alpha, two damage from Mistress of the Hunt, two damage from Raven. That's pretty cool since this was a base of zero damage. And then he hits the second highest for two, and that is Alpha. Okay, start of turn, there's no victims, so he gets one, it's right on top. Shuffle. And then he plays Elaborate. Cool. Mr. The Hunt hits him for one. Destroy both of these. The Fallen Angel shuffles into the environment deck. So he gets three drugs, which there are only... I don't know, actually, are there all? Oh yeah, he gets all of his drugs out. That's unfortunate. I don't have enough ongoing destruction to keep up with him. Fun! So now he's also got damage reduction. End of turn. Thank goodness we got his damage reduced. He hits the three highest for three each. That is going to be everybody but Echelon, I guess. Alpha hits him back for two, but it is soaked. Then he hits everybody for one, and he hits everybody for zero second damage. All right, in start of turn, we should have put some cards back in hand. How about that one? How about the boomerang? All right. Awesome. We're in a really bad spot, honestly. Strategic deployment. Let's go grab a tactic. How about breakthrough <laughs> again? And Echelon can hit him for three, and he'll hit her back for two. Discard the top five cards of her deck, and draw a card. Let's do something about that. Quote the Raven. Now the question is, which of these is the worst? I think the answer is the one that punishes us for using powers. 
So put that on the bottom of his deck. He heals three, and we destroy a hero ongoing card, which unfortunately I don't have a lot of. It's going to be Badger the Bloody, and since it's not doing anything with Compound Omicron out, she dealt him no melee damage, unfortunately. Put an equipment card for my trash into play. How about a boomerang? And I can play a card. How about Into the Shadows? Power. Hit him for two. I'm sorry, four. Reduces damage by one. Draw a card. So I need those crime scene reconstructions as much as I possibly can. Alpha will discard two cards and save the innocent bystander. We will let her heal one. Lycanthropic Frenzy steals the target two melee damage. He soaks it. She deals the target other than herself with the highest HP three melee damage. He does not soak that. Power, draw a card, and draw a card. Oh boy, this is awful. <laughs> I think I'd rather have Carbuncle out right now, so we won't do his start of turn effect. Predator Natural Senses. Reduce environment damage dealt to the Mistress of the Hunt and Hounds in her play area by one. The first time each turn a Hound enters play, draw a card. Cards with the keyword Hound or the word Hound or Dog in their name count as Hounds. You know what? She should have hit him for one earlier. Power. Let's use Hearn's Whip again. I hit him for two, which is unfortunately still soaked. Draw a card and use Carbuncle to draw another card. Boros Legion plays Aurelia. Reduce non-infernal damage dealt to this card by one. In the environment turn, each soldier deals a non-soldier target with a second highest HP, two melee damage. That is anybody but the Raven. I guess Alpha will take it. Actually, no, let's have Mistress of the Hunt take it. It'll only be one. All right, we have to return two cards to our hands. Luckily, I have cards I want to do that with. And he gets a victim. It's a good Samaritan. Cool. And he plays Innocent Bystander. Mistress of the Hunt hits him for nothing. Sad face. He hits the three highest for three each. That will be everybody but Mistress of the Hunt. Raven soaks it. He hits everybody for one infernal damage. That includes this angel. And then he destroys said angel and hits everybody for one psychic damage, which drops Carbuncle. And that's it. I wish she had something that let me play more than one tactic at a time. Let's play Breakthrough, how about that? And she will, let's see here, Mistress of the Hunt can take care of the discard. I guess Raven will take the damage. Or no, we want somebody else to take the damage. She'll deal him three reducible lightning damage and draw a card. The Raven's gonna go into the shadows. It's a great idea. She will hit Spite for two, four, two, keeping his damage reduced. Draw a card. Alpha's gonna hamstring him. She'll hit him for one. He can't deal damage. Let's start of her next turn. Draw a card. Draw a card. Oh, full moon. Shuffle trash into deck, destroy silver bindings, and we get an aspect. And hey, look, it's insatiable hunger again. Isn't that just lovely? All right, so at the start of her turn, Mistress of the Hunt is going to discard two cards and save the innocent bystander. We will heal Alpha One. And then she'll play Bark Orders. Search your deck of your trash for a command card, put it into play, you may activate the dog text and up to two different hounds. So it's worth noting, if you actually look at the cards, these cards do not have the command keyword. I think they're supposed to, so I put it in so they're at least searchable in this deck. We will grab Speak. At the end of your turn, the Mistress of the Hunt may deal herself two psychic damage. If she does, you may play a hound card. Power is, choose up to two hounds in play. You may activate their dog text. If there are no hounds in play, one here may draw a card and discard a card instead. So no hounds to activate. We will continue whipping this bad boy for no damage. Draw a card, and yeah, she's gonna hit herself and we'll play Guillaume. And his dog text as he deals a target three melee damage. How about Spite? Which unfortunately happened after Hearn's whip, so I can't activate it again, but whatever. Frontline Medic comes out. Environment targets other than this card with one or more HP are indestructible. Start the environment turn. This card deals the non-soldier target with the highest HP, two melee damage. Okay. We can ignore him safely for the moment. Oh wait, also we can play the top card of the villain deck. She hits him for nothing, but that saves the good Samaritan. We'll heal Mistress of the Hunt, and then we can do it again. Ah, darn, it's on the prowl. So he heals four, but that's it, and he gets another victim, and he's gonna get to destroy that one, unfortunately. Well, the bad news is at the start of his turn, he kills this innocent bystander and heals four, and then he makes us put two things back into our hands. I'm kind of having fun with that, though. And then he plays Potential Sidekick, and she hits him for nothing. She did hit him for one, right? Oh boy, yeah. We gotta get rid of him, or we're gonna be suffering. And then he does nothing but destroy the Frontline Medic. That's it. Thank goodness for Hamstring. Hey, let's break through and have Echelon hit him for three irreducible lightning damage and draw a card. At the start of her turn, Raven will discard three cards and save Tiago. We will heal Echelon one. Then I think she will into the Raven's Eye, increase damage dealt to him by one, discard the top card of her deck, draw a card, and play, oh, Into the Shadows. Actually, no, I'm gonna play Gadget Belt. Yeah, just because there's nothing, she's still got the damage 
reduction, and that doesn't stack. So power, she'll hit him for 2, 4, 5, reduced to 3, reduces damage by 1, and then we will also hit him for 3 projectile damage, destroy the flashbang grenade, draw a card. And he can deal damage again for some reason. There are no targets with two or fewer HP. Watch out, hounds. So she gets an ongoing. Oh, it's Lupine Senses. Reel the top card of a non hero deck, either discard it or replace it and draw a card. You now replace it and draw a card. I think she's going to maintain control. We'll return an aspect from play to my hand. Draw two cards. There are not three more aspects in play, so another hero regains a hit point and draws a card. How about Mistress of the Hunt? She could use the cards. Power, draw a card. She will put an aspect from her hand on the bottom of her deck. And let's reveal the top two cards of the environment deck. Oh, hey. Draw a card. And she doesn't hurt anything. All right, start of turn, we can have Guillaume do his thing. I forgot to draw a card for playing him. Really, I should use her base power, but we kind of need to deal damage. Kind of a lot. All right, Mistress of the Hunt will play Poison Pouch. Whenever Mistress of the Hunt deals melee or projectile damage, you may change it to Toxic if you do. Increase it by one. When this card is destroyed, the Mistress of the Hunt deals two toxic damage to all non-hero targets. Power is destroy this card. So this means that with the whip, she can do one toxic damage increase to three and actually get a damage through on him and do extra damage outside of her turn. Draw a card. We'll activate Guillaume's text. Hits Spite for three. And I don't have any hounds, so she won't hit herself or anything. That would be dumb. The environment plays Deafening Clarion. End of the environment turn, deal each non-soldier target to sonic damage. Then if this card did not enter play this turn, destroy it. Increase damage dealt by soldiers by one. So, everybody take two. Mistress of the Hunt and Guillaume take one. Spite, of course, takes nothing. Raven also takes nothing. Neat. Let's put two cards back in our hands. And he gets a victim. I think he's got, like, almost nothing but victims left. And he plays a good Samaritan. Mistress of the Hunt hits him for, well, nothing still. End of turn, he's doing five damage base to Echelon and Raven and Mistress of the Hunt. Then he hits everybody for one infernal damage. And then he destroys all the environment cards and hits everybody for one psychic damage. And we're very close to losing this game. I don't have enough ongoing destruction is the problem. Whoops. But let's try breaking through and hit him for three reduced lightning damage and draw a card. Okay, at the start of her turn, the minus one wears off. I think we're going to do something desperate and use dangerous disruption. We're going to destroy actually everything. One, two, three, four, five, six cards, seven. A villain target heals itself, X lightning damage, or X is two plus twice the number of cards destroyed this way. So that's 14, 16, 17. Not enough to take him out, not even close, but that's a little bit better actually. And then she will go to roost. And draw two cards. Release her base power. Discard the top four. Do any tactics in the trash? Oh uh, yeah, out of the trash, let's play Into the Shadows. Destroy and go to Roost so I can put up to two cards from my trash into play. How about the flashbang grenade? And a sticky bomb. Draw a card. He's dealing full damage now, though. That's an issue. Oh wait, never mind. He's not hamstring again. Hit him for one. Oh, we haven't been saving these guys. Alpha can discard two cards. Save the innocent bystander. Heal Mistress of the Hunt. And then with her power, draw a card, and draw another card. Oh good, there we go. All right, start of turn, we're gonna let Guillaume do his thing. Hit Spite for three, reduce to one. Draw a card, shuffle this back into her deck. Hey, you know what else I've got in hand up? How about a Hearn's Whip? And we'll go ahead and use that. Hit Spite for nothing, unfortunately. Draw a card. Boros Legion plays Angel Guidance. Whenever a non-angel soldier deals damage, it regains that much HP if there's an angel in play. And the environment turn reveal and replace top card of the environment deck. When an angel is revealed this way, play it. Oh look, it's an angel. It's the fire main soldier. She deals each non-soldier target one radiant damage. It's a good thing. Raven soaks it. Spike can't hurt us. Also, we play a card off the villain deck. Oh no, it's his drug. So actually he did take a damage. Heal Mistress of the Hunt for the love of crap. All right, start a turn, he gets a victim, which is Almost all that's left in his deck. Potential sidekick, that's dangerous. And then he plays a card. It's Good Samaritan. Mistress of the Hunt hits him for nothing. And then he hits us for nothing and destroys both of these cards. And the angel shuffles back into the environment deck. Okay, start of her turn, I think Echelon can finally discard cards to save the potential sidekick. We will heal her for two. Although honestly, I should probably start just pouring healing onto one hero, which is gonna be Mistress of the Hunt. Now, let's try breaking through this time. Hit him for three reducible lightning damage, draw a card. The Rave. Oh yeah, we forgot to put stuff back in our hands, which actually there's not a whole lot to do that with, but there we go. The Raven descends. She will deal a target two million damage. He soaks it. Use a power now. Search for a tactic, go to roost, draw two cards, and destroy a tactic, letting me put two equipment cards from my trash into play. She has a very resilient 
ability to set up. Oh, and also that discards the top five cards of her deck. Should have happened to Echelon as well. So power, she will flashbang him for four, reducing his damage by one. Not that it's going to matter a whole lot. Discard the top five cards of her deck. Oh man, and she's got a quote the Raven. You can quote me on that. He can deal damage again, which is a problem. Okay, Alpha's going to go Wolf within. We will play Eyes for the Hunt. There are not three more aspects in play, so she gets another one. Fangs and Claws. Cool. She will skip her power and draw a card. He is now punishing us for using them. Where are all the freaking hounds at? Mistress of the Hunt will play Preternatural Senses again. And we're going to... Mm, I should be using her base power to... Yeah, actually I'm going to use her base power. Let's discard three cards and draw three cards. He hits her for two and discards the top five cards of her deck. Probably not worth it. Draw a card. All right, start the environment turn. Play the top card of the villain deck. It's an innocent bystander, so we save the good Samaritan. Heal Mistress of the Hunt. Unfortunately, that gets us another victim that he gets to kill. Swift Blade comes out. Increase damage dealt by this card by one. And the environment turns card deals non-soldier target with second highest HP, one melee and one melee damage, meaning it kills Alpha. This game is over. All right, start a turn. He kills this innocent bystander, heals four, and hits the highest for three, meaning he drops Raven. And then we return two cards to our hands. Yeah, I think we're done for. Lost Child comes out because he hits the two highest for six with the damage reduction. So yeah, game over. Oof, this was not the right team to fight him. Let's take a look at the rest of Mistress of the Hunt's deck. Hearn's Bow. Power. Choose a target until the start of your next turn. If this target is destroyed, draw a card. Mistress of the Hunt deals that target to projectile damage. Hearn's Leash. When you play this card, you may put a Hound in play on the top or bottom of its deck. When Mistress of the Hunt deals damage to a non-character target, you may place this card next to that target. Reduce damage dealt by that target by one. That target now counts as a hero target in addition to its other target types. Return this card to your hand if that target leaves play. Spider Wrap Net. Power. Mistress deals a melee damage to a target of your choice. Reduce all damage dealt by that target by one until the start of your next turn. Feeding time, you may play a hound card. The mistress of the hunt and each hound in play regain 2 HP. You may activate the dog text on a hound. Raiju, here's all the frickin' hounds I couldn't find this game. His dog text is one player may shuffle an equipment card from their trash back into their deck. Raiju deals each non-hero target one lightning damage. Gaunt lets you play a card. Pan Hu, one hero may use a power on an equipment card. That power deals damage, increase it by one. Wordsworth, one hero target may regain a hit point. You may use a power on a command card. Fetch, another command. Power is reveal X plus one cards in the top of your deck where X is the number of hounds in play. Put up to one card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your deck. Attack, another command. Choose one, the mistress of the hunt deals a target of your choice X plus one melee damage, or the mistress and up to X hounds may deal different targets one melee damage each. X is the number of hounds in play. Silver Whistle, increase or reduce damage dealt by hounds by one. Power is the mistress of the hunt deals a target one sonic damage. You may choose a hound in your trash and add it to your hand. Come by, command. Choose up to X plus one targets in play, where X is the number of hounds in play. Reduce all damage dealt by those targets by one to the start of your next turn. Maybe I should have been doing that instead of speak. I don't know. Hearn's Knives. While this card's in play, whenever a non-hero target leaves play, draw a card. When this card in play, the Mistress of the Hunt may deal a target one melee damage. Draw a card and then play a card. And if you turn, destroy this card. Kursha, reveal the top card of a deck, and I assume replace it. Kursha deals a target two melee damage. Argos, destroy an environment card. Argos deals a target one melee damage. Bobby, choose a hound in play. Until the start of your next turn, you may redirect damage dealt to the mistress to that card instead. And Bernard, one hero target, regains three HP. So there you go. Another, yet again, very different take on a minion master who unfortunately did not have enough ongoing destruction to deal with all of Spite's garbage. But she will be back. You can find her on Sentinels Community Customs Classics. You can find Boros Legion on Bad Sky Sentinels mod. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks everybody for coming to chat and being here with me. Tabletop Simulator, Reavis is called DLC, Sentinels Community Customs Classics, and Bad Sky Sentinels mod. Online. Games products, please support the official lease and flip. That's what I was going to look up. Hang on, let's see if there are any of those in Cannon and or Cauldron. Okay, you got Genebound Frosthound in Voss's deck, Hound of Carcredos in Malador's deck. It's cool that that's uh, in the spreadsheet. None in Team Villain, none in the environments. Okay, so there's two villains that work with that. How about Cauldron? I don't know why I'm doing this in the middle of the game, and I'm actually going to leave this in the video. Don't ask me why. Oh, the hound in um, Blackwood Forest. Yeah, Blackwood Forest. 
And Voss is in there for some reason. Okay, so there are three decks outside of Pure Custom that have cards that work with that.